Well, it's uh, it's certainly an interesting and exciting time for, for both AI and automation. Uh, in the AI space, which is something that I know a little bit better than automation, uh, we see uh, really a, a, a growing focus on what I, I term narrow AI. Uh, and uh, narrow AI is, uh, is an area of machine learning and artificial intelligence uh, which looks at very specific problems uh, that computers can augment human intelligence to, uh, to, to solve. Uh, we see it a lot in, in our space, uh, in, the, um, uh, in, in the biomedical space, uh, because there's just vast amounts of information that needs to, be, needs to be crunched. And what these AI algorithms can do uh, is absorb a tremendous amount of information, uh, look for patterns in that information on a scale that, as humans, we just can't process that information uh, and, um, and make predictions on how information which is currently not linked could be linked. What humans are very good at is the, you know, the, the imagination piece of it. You know, it requires, in, in our field, uh, it requires a, um, uh, kind of a, a, a human driver, an analyst. It requires that human judgment to drive the system uh, and the system provides a hypothesis of how um, certain mechanisms can be um, can be modulated so that it, it treats disease. Uh, we had, after 10 years of developing drugs, a fairly robust pipeline. I think we had um, uh, a couple of phase two products, uh, a couple of phase one products, uh, kind of a big list of, um, of preclinical products, and it took us 10 years to get to that, that stage. And I've achieved that same state with novel chemicals, even more advanced, inside of six months. So that's a pretty big improvement in terms of time and the cost of that and the social impact of those costs as well. From, from, a, from a super intelligence perspective, we're, we're still a little ways uh, away from, from seeing something like that. Uh, but it does underscore kind of the importance of, of building a morality into, into your technology as best you can. And the type of, of knowledge that we're educating our AI system with, this, this, is, this corpus of knowledge is its, it's sole reason for being there is to benefit humanity.